Just like that one friend on Facebook who keeps shuffling through myriad profile pictures, luxury car companies are always introducing new front grills. Acura, a brand that struggles with identity issues, is the latest to do so, just as we were starting to get used to its previous design, an inelegant shield most commonly referred to as a beep. The three-row MDX crossover is the first recipient of Acura's new, so-called Diamond Pentagon grille part of a mid-cycle refresh for 2017. Will the nose job help give Acura more character? We're not so sure, the new front end looks cleaner and less bizarre, sure, but it's also slightly cartoonish and less distinctive than the beep, for whatever that's worth. Final judgment will have to wait until the diamond pentagon face makes its way onto other Acuras within the next few years. Other than the new schnoz, not much else changes for the most popular Acura, and that's a good thing. The MDX remains one of the most entertaining three-row luxury crossovers to drive, which might sound like saying that Kim is the most intellectually stimulating of the Kardashians. But Acura's sophisticated super handling all-wheel drive system, SHAWD, which incorporates a torque vectoring rear differential, imbues the MDX with surprising athleticism. Push it into a corner hard and stand on the throttle, and the differential goes to work apportioning torque to the outside rear wheel, quelling understeer and motoring you on your way with little drama. The MDX's accurate steering rack and well-damped suspension also contribute to its dynamic poise. The ride is satisfyingly firm but not harsh, and overall responses are deft. Bantamweight Competitor The Acura's curb weight of 4,222 pounds also deserves plenty of credit for its lively performance. It's several hundred pounds lighter than its closest three-row competitor, the Infiniti QX60, which goes some way toward explaining how the 290 horsepower MDX nips the 295 horsepower Infiniti by more than a second in 0 to 60 mile per hour acceleration. The MDX's sprint of 6.0 seconds and its 14.7 second quarter mile time are nearly quick enough to keep up with the field of more powerful and significantly more expensive three-row luxury SUVs we tested recently, including the Volvo XC90, BMW X5, and Audi Q7. The 9-speed automatic added for 2016 also helps acceleration and fuel economy, the MDX is rated at 26 miles per gallon highway, but we saw 28 miles per gallon during our real-world test run at a steady 75 miles per hour, but brings with it some quirks. It is frequently reluctant to downshift, has a console-mounted push-button shifter that takes some getting used to, and, on advanced models, includes a clunky engine stop, start system that's not particularly smooth. Where the Acura can't measure up to more prestigious crossovers is on the inside. Although touches such as open pour wood and contrasting piping for the leather seats are welcome, the MDX simply doesn't feel as special as the plush Audi or the gorgeously trimmed Volvo. Fit and finish is good, but the MDX's dashboard has a mostly plain design and uses plenty of utilitarian-looking materials. The dual-screen setup for controlling the radio, navigation, and climate settings is dated at best and infuriating at worst. Tasks that should be simple, such as turning on the heated seats or changing radio stations, require using the lower touch screen, which has a complex menu structure and is slow to respond to inputs. We hope Acura's new infotainment system will be much better.